It's definitely going to be an exciting year of college football, and many of us are wondering if our Eastern Michigan Eagles are capable of having a winning season. Seeing as Eastern only won two games last year, which came as a huge disappointment given that they were Michigan MAC champions in 2011 and went 6-6 six and six in that season. Head coach Ron English has led the team to only 10 wins in the last four seasons, and this has many fans feeling down about the football program. So, are things going to change this season? Probably not. I point to the 2013 spring game as evidence. The ad for the spring game shows a somewhat occupied stadium in a dark gray sky. Very dramatic but ultimately this ad ends up being comical because the spring game took place indoors, in the practice dome, because of the rain. The best part, though, is that a sixteenth of a mile down the road, the EMU baseball team was still playing a game. If the baseball team can play a game in the rain, you would think that surely the football team wouldn't have a problem with it, particularly one under head coach Ron English, who at least appears to preach cutthroat, no-nonsense football. But maybe I'm wrong and the spring game isn't an accurate representation of the team. Let's take a look at what the rest of the country sees in Eastern. USA Today has EMU ranked at 117th out of 125 in its preseason college rankings, and collegefootballnews.com ranked our Eagles at 118th. This low of a ranking is to be expected of a team that only won a single conference and a single non-conference game, but there is some reason to believe that Eastern will not end this upcoming season on a similar note. Last season, Ron English and company took heavy criticism for being predictable and at times making offensive decisions that appeared to defy any sort of common sense or logic. In January, English announced that Stan Parrish, formerly head coach for Ball State, will be offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach for this upcoming season. I hope that his experience will bring a tad bit more originality to the offense. Speaking of which... Bronson Hill showed moderate success last season, but struggled against more adept teams such as Northern Illinois and Ohio. Hill will be returning this year and running alongside senior Javante Green and with support from Ryan Brumfield. The Eagles, however, will almost certainly rely on the quarterbacks to get the team moving. Tyler Benz finished last season with a 53% completion rate, 14 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions. He returns as a junior and will be competing for the starting position with sophomore Mark Iannotti and the four-star freshman recruit Broken Roback. Most of the receiving core is back, minus tight end Garrett Hoskins, and the offense will be operating behind a line that will have to replace center Corey Watman, one of three seniors to be drafted into the Canadian Football League. The other two draftees come from the defense. Andy Mulumba and Kolonji Kashama will leave large gaps in the defensive line that must be filled if Eastern is to be successful in stopping the run this season. The somewhat reliable secondary is down two starters, and there's some uncertainty regarding the relatively inexperienced linebackers that will be called upon to start at the beginning of the season. To address this problem, Eastern has hired Mark Kreiner, the former defensive coordinator for the University of Idaho, to coach the linebackers. Eastern will face formidable competition this season as they battle Penn State, Rutgers, Northern Illinois, and Ohio. That being said, the Eagles have shown that they can play hard against tough opponents, for example, Michigan State and Toledo, and the MAC is a volatile conference where any team can win on any given day. So I believe it's definitely possible for the Eagles to win six games this year and hopefully set a solid foundation for future seasons.